What a fucking mess, but a different kind of mess. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Just coming back from a little bit of a vacation from YouTube and everything else and kind of enjoyed myself and uh, got a few things done and got some of the stuff I wanted to get done done and yeah, so still working on the PC as you can kind of see here. It's a little bit in pieces. I got the video card out, some of the cooling fans out now. What I was trying to do here is I wanted to match all the fans. I know I said about the LEDs and, you know, the lights and shit like that. But it looked kind of strange with having the halo lights on these fans. And these are the new CPU cooling fans, which only lit up the blades of the fans. These guys here had the halo on them, both sides. But it's still kind of looks funny. Also, the kind of look inside of here the cpu pump has got what is kind of familiar with the old pump that was inside of here now the old pump uh the radiator was on this side right now it's up here so i swapped out these two fans got a new fan here uh bought a bunch of fans i gotta get two more i got them coming it should be here probably on thursday i hope or maybe tomorrow hopefully if i'm lucky tomorrow and uh yeah, so these are the 120 millimeter halo uh, the RGBs. This has got uh, dual halos plus the fan lights up as well. I also did a number where I put a filtering system on here. I picked up a couple of these. Uh, and these are kind of nice. They are see-through, which, you know, I doubt that filter, that foam is really going to pick up that much but you don't want to restrict too much airflow as well so what I've got going on right now video cards out of there put a terabyte in here got 500 gigs here this is basically the uh, operating system on this one this one will be used for extra storage then I got uh, two terabytes down here uh, plus another two terabyte drive that's uh, down here as well. So I got plenty of storage on here. You got the new memory inside here. It all lights up too. Um, yeah, not really too much going on over here as far as this shit goes. And you know, all these fans or these computers come with a mat that goes over the fans that kind of supposed to help collect dust. Now this has got one on the top. It's got one on the bottom for the uh, power supply and then it's got a built-in one on the front over here where the three are. So what I ended up doing now, these fans blow upwards. These fans blow in. This was blowing out but I ended up flipping it around so now this is blowing in as well so I got these going in this going in and then these two going out so I get the airflow going like this and going up instead of having a cross airflow that goes from here out here and then these two have to fight to keep the CPU cooled now I already tested this out there's a program that you can get online it's free and it basically tests the system uh, memory motherboard CPU all that shit and kind of puts a um, a little bit of a draw on it actually quite a bit of a draw on it so to max out your system basically to find out where your parameters are uh, your limitations and everything else are and this thing was working pretty good it stayed cool I mean it wasn't that big of a problem at all so if you kind of see that this guy here kind of looks like the old pump that I had inside here before the new pump just had a outline logo on it well these are covers so you could take and take these covers off and put them back on, whatever, so swap them out with the new one. So what I end up doing with this one here is this has got the halo on it. These have halos on them. So I kind of just cut the match up. Got the new CPU brackets inside there. They were a double set. These brackets are kind of nice. The back bracket has an opening inside of it. The old ones I had in there just had holes drilled in it. This is metal, not plastic. And that's the 
air kind of gets to the back of the CPU a lot better than just having some holes drill. The design of these are different from the originals. I don't know how much stronger they will be, but it's just this nub right here that keeps on, that breaks on these. So these are just for mock-up and this will be the new brackets. This is a one by one aluminum stock. And I have a friend that uh, when I have these made, I got a buddy that can dip the pieces and make them to where they're not, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh man. To where they won't have any continuity to them anymore and, and they'll be kind of like, ah, uh, shit, why can't I fucking remember? Basically, voltage won't transfer through them. How's that sound? So, that's what I've been doing over here. One thing I noticed now, I ended up, now this has got four pin and three pin as far as the LEDs go. So this here is the three pin. One of them is connected to the CPU cooler that has a four pin, um, I think I said four pin, or if I said three pin, I, I apologize for that. But that has got a four pin power for the LEDs. The fans are a three pin, so I've got that over here, and I still have two open here, and another open over here. Plus there is someplace inside here, there's another wire for it. I've got enough fan inputs on the motherboard, so I'm not worried about that. And then all these fans are um, speed controlled as well, so they, if they need to speed up a little bit faster, they, they can. And I also picked this up. Now this is kind of something pretty cool that I had something like this years ago. And what this does is it's a vacuum or it's a blower. Now, I won't have to buy a bunch of those damn, uh, what do you want to call them, compressed air cans anymore. So I picked this up, and this will help with you know a lot of the dusting and shit that goes on, especially inside the PC. I used to have something like this years ago. I picked it up from Radio Shack. Uh, when Radio Shack was still a store, and what I used to use it for was basically uh, cleaning the dust and stuff off of head units, stereos, car stereos and shit, and it worked out pretty great. Uh, it was kind of like a fat magic marker, and uh, I think I ran off a couple of AA batteries, and it worked really good. This is USB. One of the things that I found out with this PC when I cracked it open was that they use a lot of black electrical tape on all the connectors for the LEDs. Now, mind you, Cooler Master comes with clips. And I did find one inside of here, but I don't know if the guy who built this machine ended up hoarding all the clips, but that's what I used was the clips to keep everything tied together and have the wires kind of running in a way to where they're out of the way and not interfering. Same thing with everything that's inside of the PC here. The one thing you want to do, if it, especially if you got a window on your PC, is you don't want to see a bunch of fucking wires and shit. Uh, other than what's going into the motherboard and the CPU cooler and what's going into the video card, that's basically it. There's really nothing else that is showing here, well, I'm exception of the extra USB that I put on here. And then here is the the bad boy. Yeah, this is my video card. Which my video card really isn't dirty or dirty at all. I mean when I ran the test, the fans spun up and uh so I know that they're working, but these fans really don't turn on that much because I don't do any gaming. This is not uh uh uh, put under any type of pressure at all. It's mostly mostly just compressing video and shit like that, video stuff, audio shit, but yeah. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Uh, I'm going to continue to take myself a little bit of a break and take it easy. I've got the paints for the Devil and Guitar, which um, I really didn't like and care for the wine red color. It looked good when it came out of the can, but it dried much darker than what I expected. So I'll be sanding that down. And what I ended up doing is I picked up some in that little box over there on the floor. Not the purple bag or the box that's on top of it, but the one in between the cabinets. 
I ended up picking up some pearls. So I got a pearl white, a pearl red, and a pearl black. And that's what I'm going to use on the devil end. And that's going to be striping the guitar itself. And then I have a shitload of cans up there that are all uh, basically clear coats and some colors. You know, I didn't use, don't use all of the can as far as the colors go, but the clear, I end up using all of that because if you don't, it's a waste. You got to throw it away after 24 hours or 72 hours, something like that. So, yeah. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. You guys have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later.